Mark Watts, LeadFTS.com. I'm here on the campus of Urbana University, and I got a dark hair because I want to make sure you're able to see the slide, not my face, so uh, don't be offended. This is part of our sports performance coach education series, and today we're going to talk about you know, some hypertrophy circuits, uh, or some of you call hypertrophy circuits uh, for athletes. And again, how do you get some more uh, work done at the end of a session? Uh, and this came about because, again, what I found out as a coach is that it's really difficult to try and measure. I know we're in, a, we're in the age of measurement where everything needs to be measured. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes you just got to get work done. And I got about four methods that may help you. Uh, I don't think they're groundbreaking, but at the same time, it's something we thought uh, really you know, helped us utilize our time and, again, got our athletes uh, understanding and bought into what we're doing because it gave them a little bit of autonomy. It gave them a little bit of uh, uh, ownership over the, over the training session. So um, we'll talk about these four and I'll go right to it. So again, the first would be mechanical drop sets. And this is something that I know Josh Bryan has talked about, a lot of athletes have talked about. And basically what we're talking about is this. We're going to change the angle. We're going to change the incline. We're going to change the foot or hand positions of the exercise, right? So we did a couple of videos on how to do that with, um, you know, two bench press exercises with, uh, um, with the boards, one, two, three, four, board press, and in a five position, hand position, Swiss bar drop set. So um, if you're changing the angle uh, or you're changing the hand position for, you know, whatever it may be, you know, again, I'm able to uh, make that exercise more difficult without adding weight and for when you're talking about you know putting uh, some size and putting you know gaining some just some general overall um, you know body size and just more more put more muscle more armor on your athlete uh, this is one of the one of those things especially when you're talking about isolated movements where you really need to need to target some different areas with your athletes that are needing them um, so again what happens is again, the biggest thing with this is it eliminates changing of weights it really eliminates the time spent so with these drop sets there's so many different different ones you can do but I'll just give you three examples and I know we have some resources around doing this as well uh, dumbbell elevators I know Joe Kendra and Arkel way back in the day about these and then we have myself and Derek Dolder did a, did, a, did a video on these and again basically what we're talking about take a superset like dumbbell uh, incline dumbbell presses with uh, incline dumbbell uh, rows so again chest supported rows uh, basically what you're doing is keeping the same dumbbells and working your way down the incline so pretty high up now again I'm doing a high incline flip over I'm doing a row which is more like a almost like a high high pull hybrid you know, put that put that weight down, put the uh, the bench down, and now we're working on a little bit lower. Uh, you're more fatigued, but you're at a more advantageous angle to perform that exercise. So you work your way all down. Uh, sometimes it's good to go from you know again. I don't know if you need to go from 90 to flat, but you can go for a couple in between there. And really, now you're getting more work done. So all of a sudden, the athlete performs really four uh, you know sets. Even if you're using two inclines, they're using four sets uh, with no rest in between. And then you're really not taking too much time away from your other athletes too. So that's an example of that. Um, the other ones like up the rack push-ups. Again, putting a barbell or a Swiss press bar in the rack, doing push-ups, raising it up. What we end up doing because we, um, you know, we're limited on space, we end up using the safety catches of the rack, put them at the lowest part. Again, they'll spin a little bit, but you know, obviously the athletes, once they get their hands in position. Um, and they're pushing through the palm of their hand, uh, it really wasn't a problem, wasn't an issue. But again, now I'm working push-ups um, with, that, with that safety catch you know, across the bottom, moving that up one or two spaces, still perform the reps. So all of a sudden, now my body angle, you know, it's a closed chain version of the first mechanical drop set. Now my body angle is working my way up. It gets easier. As I get more fatigued, I get more work done. Uh, and the last part is just body weight row. Same thing with that, just you know, changing your foot position. So you kind of understand what we're trying to get at. Um, you know, anytime you can change the angle and you don't have to change weights, and you can keep that after you keep their hands on that, on that, uh, on those you know, blast trap handles. You're just going to get more work done. And again, at the end of the day, does your body really know, um, understand? They just know that again, it's you know, that the body is being, uh, you know, fatigued and it's, it's it needs to adapt. So from a hypertrophy standpoint, that's really what we're looking at. All right, second one is going to be a rep goal. This is pretty easy. It seems almost almost kind of, but there's a couple things that you know we addressed early, which made it work a little easier for us. Uh, again, total reps be performed as few sets as possible. Um, so again, this is kind of the athlete will be able to chunk this down. 
Um, and again, it's really when you pair this up. So again, for us, we're going to say, hey, you need to do this many glute ham raises, this many blast strap rows, this many uh, booty ball push-ups at the end of a workout, right? Not the core list, but at the end of the workout. They can do those at any angle. So, or any, any, any order they want to, and you know, obviously they, they're able to do that. Some people struggle with one more than the other, and they're able to kind of hit that in between. Um, so everybody's able to work, especially we were lucky enough to have seven glute hand raise benches, so you know, we were able to, to do some of that. Um, you know, the rep goal can be increased or decreased you know, throughout the cycle. So again, we would do that you know, off season, we're trying to ramp that up. In season, we're really trying to ramp that down. So we might start with 50 and then work all the way down. Uh, you know, it just it just depends on your philosophy and again how your athletes are responding to that because again the the goal is increased performance. Um, so again, an AM will be 25 glute ham raises. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I think that that you can do some things to help the, with the parameters with this. With some of your guys are doing five sets of five. I mean, some you know if you're if you're really doing the glute ham raise right, and I know myself and uh, there's so many you know in, in, so much information out there. Um, you can easily manipulate that by saying, okay, some of your guys that that might be easier for, maybe they're doing one and a half reps. Maybe they're doing a pause at the bottom. If you have some guys, you're more more explosive guys, are doing a pause at the bottom. Um, you know. So it just kind of depends on, on who, who your athletes are. But you might not have to change that. And you can always change it by position. You know, I got my, 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 my guards, uh, point guards and, 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 and twos. You know, they're doing this many reps. Uh, the bigs are doing this many reps if I have a basketball team. You understand, you know, you can manipulate that any way you want to. Same thing with the champs. Like I said, I know 15 chin-ups. I mean, some people are doing that in, in one set. But... The easy thing to do with this, now you can change so that maybe if you have athletes that can't really do chin-ups, maybe they just do 15 negatives. Um, depending on when you're at the season, that, that could be very beneficial for them to get to the point where they can do some some of their own, uh, or maybe they do one regular and one, one negative. Uh, for some athletes, if they're really cranking out 15, instead of adding weight on them or adding a load, which takes more time, now all of a sudden you can just manipulate how they uh, perform the exercise as far as, you know, uh, maybe it's a five second eccentric, maybe it's a pause at the top, uh, maybe it's a, you know, obviously I'm segment, I'm pausing halfway up, halfway down. Myself and Jordan Hauser did a video on how to make a regular pull up harder without adding weight. And uh, so that, that that's another important component you can add with it. So you can adjust without adjusting the reps or the exercise. And you can always have those parameters for different sports and different times of the year. So that's up to you. All right, third thing, uh, rep ladder. I really like this. I got this originally from Junie Barnett, who was with me. He's uh, is with the Ravens now, but we were together at uh, West Point, and it's pretty brilliant. It's a way to really get volume to kind of sneak up on you. Steve Polsonella has a kind of an ascending uh, rep scheme that, that, that I've stolen from him as well. But really, then you're really, you know, again, same thing, working groups of two to four. Uh, you're going through a rep range, and you can also work up and then down. And then really, you can increase the volume and really minimize fatigues. Again, if I'm doing one set to failure, that next set, I'm probably going to have a couple rep drop off, and, and maybe I don't have as much. All of a sudden now, if I'm doing you know, an exercise and I'm working myself, you know, uh, you know, one rep, then two reps, then three reps, and all of a sudden I get to 10 reps. I think that's 55. You have to check my math, but I think it's 55 reps. Um, I don't know if I'm doing, you know, a set of 25 and a, a set of 20, uh, you, know, or, you know, two sets of 25, you know, back to back. So that's one thing that you can, you can, you can, you can manipulate. Uh, the examples with this would be, you know, pull-ups, you do one rep at a time. Uh, blast strap row, we would do three reps at a time maybe, depending on your athletes too. Maybe that's five. But you did, that's why you're coaching them, so you can gauge where they're at. So, uh, you know, push-ups, for example, would be maybe five reps at a time, uh, you know, depending on the athletes. But again, what you can do is if you have an athlete, and again, some athletes might be able to work, you know, after three reps, they do one, two, three, and they get gas, they fail on, on, the, on the, the, the four set, the four rep set. Uh, you know, you can kind of manipulate that by making them work their way back down. So really easy thing. We did the same thing when we did clean ladders or snatch ladders over at squat ladder, whatever it may be. But we would really just make sure that they had to had a certain number of sets total. So you're going to work your way up to 10 sets. So if I work my way up to 10, boom, that's I've, I've got that all 10 sets. I did one all the way through 10. Uh, if I fail at if I fail at three or four, I'm working my way back down and staying on that lower number. Maybe I do on the way back down. I do, you know, one one rep on the way up and on the way back down. Maybe I'm doing, you know, I'm doubling those reps or doing two sets at each one on the way down. But manipulate the number of sets. The volume 
will be based on the athlete's ability, but you can manipulate the sets to make sure that the athletes are still uh, you know, performing as many sets as you want them to. Uh, the last one's going to be uh, standardized drop sets. This, was, this is another thing. Again, the one thing you have more of in your weight room than anything else is probably plates or bumpers. And, you know, again, dumbbells, if you're having more than one or two sets, you're lucky. Same thing with kettlebells, they're very expensive. So it's one of those things that, you know, you have more plates uh, than probably anything. So we would try to use those. And again, for example, uh, we would just go ahead and you can do this either to failure. You can do those, um, you know, just a certain amount of goal reps. Uh, and then the last rep still failed, so it's just kind of up to you. And again, you can also work your way up and down if you need to view the volume. But a good one with single leg RDL would have been, um, you know, again, using a you know, 25, 25 kilo bumper, holding it like a steering wheel, shoulder blades retracted, um, you know, and then they would just perform single leg RDL each T step, put it down grab the 20 kilo and work your way that way or line tricep extensions anything you think it's easier to grab a plate and be able to, to use a movement just use plates and work your way down all of a sudden you're getting that extra volume you're getting that work to you know especially specifically with hypertrophy and, and really to address work capacity uh, without you know racking your brain about again do you really have to uh, you know measure you know, how much weight or how your athletes are progressing with a rear delt raise or a, uh, a tricep extension. You know, that's kind of, you know, that's your, your, that's your pick your poison. So, uh, again, hope those four helped you. Um, you know, for me, I think it's one of, those, one of those aspects where, again, the more work you can get your athletes doing in a minimum amount of time, that they leave that workout uh, and, and better prepared for the next training session, I think that's important. So, again, any questions, make sure you hit us up uh, on the comment section of this article. And uh, please visit leadfts.com for all your uh, strength and conditioning needs.